Hi, it's Tybug. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so, so long and I've mentioned this a whole bunch of times so I don't feel like I need to talk about it anymore, but you guys know what's going on. So, I've dyed my hair blue. I did just the underside, so this is like the um, regular blue color. This kind of matches my shirt. And then I have other blue pieces that are like a little bit more tealish. So, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the hair dye, just do a quick little review on that, and then I'll tell you like my process. So this is the hair dye I used. It's the Good Dye Young Hair Dye in Blue Rune. I saw this on TikTok and people said it lasted really long and like it doesn't go out in washes. And let me tell you, man, was this a, a, a nightmare to work with. <laughs> So, first thing I started off with is I bleached my hair. I bleached my hair twice, and so that was like a two-day process. First, I did all the undersides of my hair. Then I did a little bit more because I wanted more blue, and I did a little bit of my bangs. Then I left that blonde a while because I liked the blonde. And then I decided to go blue. So, sectioning it off again once I had had it blonde was a pain in the patootie because I would have little like blonde strands up in the top of my head when I was sectioning it off and I like one by one had to pick it out. I had to get my mom to help me with everything. Here's a picture of what it looked like when I was getting ready to dye it. <laughs> Cute, I know. And then I was pleasantly surprised with how much dye I needed to use to get this done because I bought two of these and these are um, five fluid ounces. And the other hair dyes I've used before, I've needed to use like two of these or three of these to get all of my hair because my hair is pretty thick if you can tell. And I only needed to use one of these. So I, this is a full one. I have an extra one here. This is completely full. And I didn't even use a full one of these on myself. I had enough to do somebody else's hair. Like that is amazing, the coverage this has. So like if you're gonna use this, use just a little bit at a time while you're putting it on because you may not need all of it because I definitely didn't need all of it to do all my underside and this. So let me just do a full 360. So this is with my hair normal. I just need to scoot around to do this. <laughs> a little bit awkward getting back around here. <laughs> And then um, when I pull it up, this is what it looks like. So let me tell you why this was a pain to do. So this stuck to my hair really, really well, but it stuck to everything else really, really well as well. It stuck to my shower, my clothes, my skin, everything. It dyed my hands so bad that I had to paint my nails. And I usually don't like painting my nails, but I literally had to because my fingers, my fingernails are blue and my toenails are still blue. And then the back of my neck, I don't know if you can tell still, but it's still blue because every time I wash it, it just dyes it more. But, and then when I washed it out the first time in my shower, everything was stained blue. It stained the grout, it stained the tub, it stained my shampoo and conditioner, it stained literally everything. So if you have a white bathroom, white sheets, white clothes, I would avoid this hair dye because I mean it sticks really really well but it stains. It stains like a mother. It stains so bad. Like my, my skin is still stained. Like I couldn't get it off with makeup remover acetone, <laughs> alcohol, dishwashing soap. I tried like all the tricks that I couldn't get off. So I was like, I'm just gonna paint my nails and cover the back of my neck forever. So that's the nitty gritty on this hair dye. It's really, really good. I've washed my hair a lot of times actually because it's been really, really hot and it hasn't faded at all. I think this is like my second week with it in and it's like vibrant as ever. So um, let me clarify. This I got to like a white blonde and then this was like it lifted yellow so that's why they're different. So consider that because my hair is like the dark of the darkest. So this is just the one bleach and this is the two bleach the way it turned out. Okay we good? So that's that on the hair and now I'm gonna do a makeup look because I have been dying to do a blue makeup look that matches my hair. And you would not believe how hard it was for me to find blue eyeshadow, like matte blue eyeshadow that matches with my hair. 
I looked everywhere and I finally just had to concede and get like some Maybelline L'Oreal one pan things. So I have my L'Oreal matte blue. It's kind of has a little bit of a sparkle in it. And then I have this like color strike thing that's like a cream to powder. I'm gonna try it out. But let's get started. I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base. And this is a white base just to make the colors pop more. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a pretty dramatic, like maybe an e-girl look, just like a dark kind of gothis, go, 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 gothic look. I don't care about this shape right now. Let's just get this everywhere. We can clean that up with my concealer. But we want our color to pop. <laughs> Gorgeous. Wonderful. Wonderball. There, that looks, that feels good. And now I'm just gonna do just kind of like an all over shadow with this blue to start off with. So this color isn't that pigmented, you know, it, it is what it is. So that's why I'm just gonna do like a, an all over just to start off putting color down. See, it's not like horrible, but it's not like what we expect anymore. This is like 2000, early 2000 color payoff. But we just want to get a little bit of a messy look of a base going. Cause we'll clean it up, we'll clean it up, I swear. Trust the process, trust the process. And we're gonna start angling that outside. Now we're gonna do a little bit more precision work with this. Just blend that outside out a little bit. We want drama, we want flair, we want all of it. Now I'm just trying to get them even, so I'm gonna Blend that edge out a little bit with this blue. That's why I kind of put it down before just so it'd be easier to kind of like play with. Cause this, I found when I was playing with this that this is hard to blend and when you blend it out, it kind of turns greenish. So that's why I did this crazy beginning part so I can work with it. To deepen that just a tiny bit, we're gonna go in with, in this palette, the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes. And we're gonna go in with this deep brown on just a little fluffy brush. And we're just gonna get that right in the corner. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going in with this like really dense, uh, kind of like stippling blending brush. And I'm going in with the shade that's kind of similar to my skin tone, but like a little bit peachy. And I'm just blending that on the outside because I want a little bit of like a blue undertone and I want it to look kind of like messy and diffused, but I don't want it to be like too out there. So that's what I'm doing on the outsides. And then like, then I'm going back in with like a little bit uh, softer blending brush with the blue and like just kind of like messing with it a little bit. Cause like this shade for some reason goes over it really well because this is a lot more pigmented, but like it kind of like, it like blends perfectly together. Like I don't, like it has a little bit of the blue undertone, but like it doesn't look as scary anymore. And if you're having a hard time making it even, look at yourself further away while you're doing it. Cause when you're close up, you tend to focus on only one area. Oh, and I also went in with this on the, uh, where, right where I put that dark third eye color and just touched it so it blended just a little bit into each other. Next, I need to decide if I wanna do the eyeliner already cause then that will stop my blending capabilities here. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. So this is just my e.l.f. Um, Flawless Brightening Concealer. I just use this underneath my eyes very lightly just to brighten it up. And I'm gonna go in with this really tiny 
stippling brush just to get it in the areas I want and then I'll blend it out more. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer brush and just blend it. Just because I'm feeling really oily and I'm done with like the majority of my, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of concealer on my spots so I can powder up. This is the Kosas something or other in shade 7. See how a little bit just goes like a long way? That's why I love this. Instead of just doing a foundation, I just put this on the spots I need it. And then I can cover it all. And you just need to make sure you blend your edges. Because then if you're not using it everywhere, sometimes you can tell you're not using it everywhere. Looking good? Looking good. <sighs> then I'm going to go in with my Kosas Cloud Set and Pillowy. It's hard to open. And it still gets everywhere, so be careful of that. And I'm just gonna set those spots in anywhere that's oily. I really love this powder for on camera stuff because it just makes you look like 10 times more blurred. Like look at, I just put that on and everything just looks flawless all of a sudden. This camera has a little bit of a beauty filter, but like, even when I'm using a camera without a beauty filter, you're like, dang, girl, dang, what you do today at skin? Should I go back in with the eyes? Nah, that seems intimidating. I'll go back in with that later. Just give me a second to think about it. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of blush. I know I just powdered, but I'm gonna put on a liquid blush over and just tap that in. I'm just gonna do it. Rare Beauty, a little tiny dot on my nose. Let's see how far this one dot goes. I don't use a brush when I do this, I just tap it in. I always do blush before bronzer because if I ever put on too much blush, oh, it looks like I'm wearing like a mask and I have a sunburn right now. If I ever put on too much blush, I can clean it up with the bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in with a powder blush in Sailor Moon, Cat's Eye. I'm just gonna go in with my blush brush. And this will just set what I already put on. And then I'm just gonna brush that up into where my eyeliner is. Gonna get a little bit on the temples just so everything kinda starts to fit in. We're looking really sunburnt right now, but that's okay. That's okay, okay. This is a summer look. We want to look a little bit sunburnt. And then we're gonna go in with our bronzer, our tried and true. And I'm gonna use this rounded fluffy brush. Just get that all in there. Let's start with the chin. Snatched. And don't be like, don't push on it, just be really light. Like you don't have a care in the world, you're just a little fairy. Let's get that five head, blend everything together. And then we're gonna go on the nose to clean it all up. Looking better. And if, if it feels too much, we'll just put a little bit more bronzer just to blend it down. Is it good? Oh yes, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Don't worry, the eyes are not done yet. I know it looks like a mask right now, but it's okay. Everything is a-okay. Let's, uh, let's spray this down a little bit. That's the Milk Hydro Grips. <laughs> Nailed it. Set and spray. Okay, I can't put it off for much longer. Oh, actually I can. I can. Because we're gonna do a little bit of freckles. Actually no, because I have to have to put my hand on my face to do my eyeliner. So I'll do my eyeliner first. Okay, we're gonna be big. 
We're gonna be bold. That's a big wing. <laughs> Should I do an inner wing? I don't know. But I'm gonna do a little... Should I leave that open? Or should I fill that in a little bit? I think I should fill that in. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. I should do the other eye before I get overconfident. It looks pretty even to me. And I didn't get any makeup on my, on my hand really. I feel like I should do a little bit of like lower lash emphasis. So I'm gonna do that in just a second. Let me get my bearings. Cause see, now the under eye part looks like it works because we got this thick bad boy. Okay, let's do... Can you see that at all? I don't really like it. I don't like it. Nope, I don't like it. I'm gonna go clean that up, BRB. Okay, I cleaned it up. I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, ooh, I am look really red. But too late for that. I'm just do little tiny lashes. Okay, I'm gonna stop before I go overboard because it looks okay right now. Okay, now that the eye is mostly done, we're gonna go in with this. We're gonna go in with Ojo. I'm just gonna use my finger. And we're just gonna Tap that in right there. Right on the inner part of the eye. And then with a little middle finger, we're gonna go in with opal. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to say azura, but it's opal aura. And we're just gonna lightly tap that into our inner corner. Let's not do eyebrows, let's do a little bit of freckles. I don't really don't need to do this on camera, but I'll do a couple on camera. This is the Milani Weekend Brow, by the way. Some freckles. <laughs> I'm just going to go over that a little bit with bronzer just so they set into the skin a little bit more. And to get rid of some of the pink. Okay, okay, we're almost there. Do, 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 do. Almost there, almost there, not quite almost there. Where did my blue thing go? Okay, I'm going to try this. I don't think it's going to work. But I'm gonna try and do blue brows. I'm gonna go in with this. I'm just gonna... Is that translating at all? My eyebrows are so thick and dark that I don't think it's gonna show up blue at all. It looks so much better on camera than it does in person. Every time I go into the bathroom to clean it up, I'm like, ooh. Ooh, can I post this? Is this turning out at all? Okay, so now we got my eyebrows. Now we gotta do the lashes. The lashes. Okay, I haven't cut these ones down. These are pretty dramatic lashes. This is Ardell's Mega Volume. I still never see how it's supposed to turn blue. Like it kind of looks blue to me now, but it could also be white. I'm not colorblind. I know what blue looks like, obviously. Just this doesn't look blue to me at all. And I'm scared if I wait too long, it's not gonna be good anymore. Are they on? If they're not on, don't tell me. I can't take it. I can't take the embarrassment. Should I try to do the under eyelash?
Yeah, let's try it. I think that would work. I think that'd look cute. Okay, so I got my lashes on and I'm kind of looking like very dramatic. <laughs> That's, I have eyelashes everywhere. This one is, seems a little bit shorter than the other one, but we're just gonna ignore that, okay? Okay, bestie, we're ignoring that. You got me? Okay. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter, just because I can, and just because I want to. Little bit on the nose, little bit on the brow, little bit on the cupid's bow, and then we're gonna do a, just like a little bit, like a tear. Just if we cry just a little bit, it's okay. Wow. Okay, finishing touch. It's like there's something in my mouth. I just did that with my eyes open. That hurts. <laughs> finishing touches is your lipstick. I think black lipstick is appropriate for this. I think so. I don't have lip liner for this, so we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it. And then we're done. Oh my god, we've done it! How do we look? Are we feeling blue enough? Let's take the hair down. Ta-da! I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you trusted the process. Trust it. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like my new hair and my new look. I, I won't look like this all the time, I swear. I mean, unless you want it. Oh my God, it's so hard to blink. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out all the links down below. I have Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, TikTok, everything. Everything you can think of. It's all down there. I hope you guys have a great week. Make sure to stay healthy and safe, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!